static HTML and CSS for Dwarf Underground is in this project as static CSS and static HTML. So we want to turn this into React. Uh, the CSS, that should be easy. Just copy all the CSS out of static.css and put it inside app.css, which we cleared out. And there's our CSS. For now, anyway. Then in static HTML, we have a whole bunch of stuff. And basically, we want everything that's in the body to be inside our app component, our, uh, our React components. For right now, we've only got one component, app. So we'll just replace it all with this. So starting, uh, let's see, starting just inside the body with this first div, just copy everything up to right before the closing body tag. So everything between the two body tags. It'll start with that main and it'll end with the footer. So copy all that stuff. Starting with the, uh, I'm sorry, not, not starting with main. Starting with this first div, going down to the end of the footer. Just copy it all. And inside app.js, we'll leave our div there because you may remember adjacent siblings must be wrapped in a container, right? We can only return one element from this. So all this other stuff has to go inside that one div. So just get rid of your dwarf underground thing there and paste all that stuff inside this div. It may screw up your indentation, it did mine. Not a big deal. Uh, to indent and outdent stuff, if we haven't talked about that before, command right bracket and left bracket will take whatever lines you have selected and indent them. Now I expect to have some problems here, but let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look great. I see I have some errors. Let's look at my console. Unknown DOM property class. Did you mean class name? That's right. So that's okay. We'll fix this easily. Let's just do a find and replace. Hit Command F or Control F, and you'll get find. You get the find box in uh, Visual Studio Code to do replace. Click the little arrow here. That'll show you your replace box. Now, we don't just want to search for the word class because there's at least one time when the word class appears that we don't want to replace it, right? So I'm going to search for class equal and replace that with class name camel cased equal. And the second button here is replace all. So let's do that. We'll replace every class equal with class name equal. If you missed that, Command F or Control F brings up find, hit the little arrow here, and that brings up replace. And I want to replace class equal with class name equal. And the second button here does a replace all. Don't forget to save. Let's see what happens in the browser. Okay, that's more like it. All right, project finished. No. We're not satisfied just yet. But let's just say, um, add all content to app component. But that's not very reacty, putting the whole static thing inside a single component. <coughs> and we didn't learn a darn thing. <coughs> 